good Friday morning. It's not a good Friday, but it's a good morning and it's Friday morning. So it's especially good because Missy Mop Fabrics has got a pop-up today. So I'm gonna to tootle along there to have a chat with her about faux fur, see if she's got anything for my coat. Uh, thank you for all your comments, suggestions. You gave me a lot of food for thought. So I'm going to continue exploring faux fur options. And I thought I'd um, just go over my outfit for the day because I am doing that, doing filming, all the usual, but I've got my fake vampire's wife style dress on that, um, I don't know why I keep doing this with the sleeves, but anyhow, I'm enjoying it. Uh, there's a video which I will link if you haven't seen it. And um, yeah, how I made that, sleeves of fabulosity. I've got my hair in braids. I feel like because my hair's so dark black, it's like negative space. Uh, for the prize, lover's eyes in silver with a little pink here to match my rosacea complexion. Um, but actually to match the pink in here. And also gonna do this really elegantly. Shoes, more Clark's brogues. Then I am wearing my coat that I actually bought from New Look Sail Rail quite a few years ago. And a really lovely rose brooch that Hula Hanna, a friend gave me. And to top it all off, because you haven't seen enough of this beret, my um, Marlena beret that goes with the green in this dress. So this is my swishy outfit and I'm just gonna show you. Uh, this is my shopping bag, an octopus. So I'm gonna take you with me. We're gonna have a look at lovely fabric and um, yeah, I shall see you there. As always, Nikki had an amazing array of beautiful fabrics. I loved the green section and this pink berry section. This red brocade or jacquard was extremely beautiful. I didn't buy it though. I especially loved the berry colours and this purple viscose, which was vintage, would make a beautiful tea dress, but unfortunately there was only a small amount. You really have to grab it when you see it with Missy Mop fabrics. This was rather fab and I also really loved this one. It may have come home with me. I just got home from the pop-up which was rather delicious, I think you'll agree. It was really lovely to see Nikki and she talked through all of her fabrics. She knows everything about every fabric and she speaks with such passion and she loves, loves fabric, I think more than anyone else I've ever met. And she has a really good eye, so she's moving more into vintage fabrics rather than just dead stock fabrics, although she still has that as well. But she's got an amazing, amazing collection of vintage fabrics and I treated myself to a little bit of fabric, so I just wanted to um, show you very quickly. So, as we know, it's Marlena launch day, and I really wanted to get a, um, like a raspberry wool to make a raspberry beret, because berets were very much a thing that my mother loved, my late mother, and it was um, when I was with her that we found the knitting pattern for the what is now the vintage tassel beret. I altered it a little bit, but it was a really, really old pattern and she had it and I just wrote it down and it was sort of with her that I actually learnt to knit. And then um, she loved millinery and she loved making berets. So she used to make these sort of art berets and I haven't got any of them, but her favorite song was Raspberry Beret. So the Marlena beret as well is something that kind of means more to me than just the, you know, just that it's a beret and it's a pattern and that's what I do. And really everything that I do, design, put out, work on it, all comes from, really comes from the heart and it comes from a place where there's a very personal story. And so the beret love is very much, um, you know, tied up with my 
my lovely late mother. Anyway, I am digressing. You don't really need to know all of that. But anyway, sharing is caring. So I found this really lovely, it's Italian wool. And there's actually only, um, uh, how much of it is there? There's 0.35 meters by 160. So I will be able to get my beret out of this and um really really pleased with it so i get to make my raspberry beret gonna have to find some really lovely um lining in my stash but i have actually got quite a bit of this left what do you think would this make a good lining hmm. answers on a postcard and then i picked up two pieces of the same here it's a, a vintagey i think it's vintage or dead stock i'm not sure what does it say on the label viscose so there's there's about three meters here because i am doing a very special october lookbook um and i need this fabric to make a dress and i just thought very very wearable i am being quite good at keeping to my colors which are as we know dark florals black and ivory shades of pink and that lovely arsenic green and a little bit of other green and i might just add some metallics in there as well so that's that's um that's my color palette and uh i think these are all rather gorgeous i've linked missy mop below so you can go and have a look at her website and um follow her on instagram and if you're ever in hastings or wherever she's doing a pop-up get yourself along there because you will find things that you really won't find anywhere else this isn't a sponsored video or anything these are purchased uh, but she's a, a friend of mine and um i just really love what she does so i want to support her so it's friday evening approaching seven i've prepped for my live stream with my patrons slash coven and we are doing a live crafting making spangly pumpkins which it's just the best way to spend a Friday evening, really. I'm going to be making mine out of this. And um, got all my equipment, cauldron of tea, all ready to go. And look, hi, there I am in the screen. So that's what I'm going to be doing this evening. And what I um, keep doing as well, just to be careful of, is I keep getting threads caught and it does pull your beads so just um just be a little bit aware of that i'm feeling very much in the mood for halloween decorating now i've made these pretty pumpkins with my patrons good morning from a very sunny morning here on the coast uh not really one that us with more vampiric people are wanting to go out in but out I must go because I'm teaching this morning at Jacobs teaching a copy your clothes workshop all day got to go and get the train it's just a town along it's not that far just wanted to show you what I'm wearing which uh, is my Greta dress which is available as a, a zine or a pdf but um yeah it's a zero waste zero ish waste a uh, sustainable pattern so you basically cut out measured grids you have to work out the measurements for yourself and then obviously it gives you all the sums but quite like patterns like that uh, but I'm not sure that other people do let me know and that there's lots of tears it's quite a ruffly puffly one I do like it so I just um, seen at my front door that I've had a little parcel delivered I know who it's from. It's from lovely Tom at For The Prize. He's popped this through my door, the naughty, naughty boy. Um, so beautiful, look. It's just all, all wrapped up beautifully. So I thought that I would um, unwrap it here uh, so that you could see what it is. Oh. Mm. I've been pestering him. Look, it all comes in a little. Oh, look, with a little. Are we going to focus? 
Look. A little skull. Who just like makes everything so beautiful. Um, oh. It's like Christmas. He's really naughty because he should um, let me buy these off of his website. Oh, yeah. <gasps> Look. Oh, let me put this down. Fortune tellers at hands and pearls. <gasps> How beautiful. Oh. Absolutely loved it because they're all like little bits of charms, sort of. Yeah, sorry for extreme close up, but they're how lovely! Oh, exciting! Just such a clever and kind person. Oh, look, these ones. Oh, focus. Beatles. How lovely. So there were those as well. I want to wear both of them, like now, immediately. But what a lovely start to the day. Thank you so much, my lovely. Um, I'll link him below because really, everyone needs to feel this uplifted and happy first thing in the morning. Oh, look, love them. Good Monday morning. Just before I round off this episode of Vlogtober, I just wanted to share the book that I'm reading because it's really good. And uh, I think uh, you may enjoy. So it's this, Vampire Movies, by um, Charles Bromesco. I think, Little White Lies, Charles Bromesco, Vampire Movies. And it's basically, each chapter is on a kind of a different type of vampire. So we've got chapter one, the feral vampire, which includes Nosferatu. Um, I have just read uh, The Cool Vampire, which was The Lost Boys, which is a, a favorite of mine. And um, I'm just doing a bit of research, really. I found this in a like a bargain bookshop for just a couple of pounds. And it's proven to be very entertaining, especially at um, this time of year and for, for Vlogtober and Halloween season being upon us. But um, I'm also doing a bit of research for an upcoming YouTube video. Uh, sh I'm not gonna tell you a secret. I'm about to go out to run errands, boring admin things, going to the banky wanky, etc. But um, I've spent the morning researching my Tea with Tara, which is a monthly talk on Patreon. And um, I'm gonna be filming that probably tomorrow morning now. But um, every month I do a talk and it's something to do with the topic of the month and it's fashion, history, culture, all of that sort of stuff, all from my kind of slant on things, usually over a cup of tea, but my cup is invisible at the moment so I don't have one, but anyhow. So must dash, must crack on with uh, boring Monday stuff. Uh, I hope you enjoy this episode and as always, thank you for spending time with me at my little cottage by the sea. I've seen some really lovely comments and I really am grateful for them. I haven't responded yet but I will respond, it's on my to-do list and um, yeah I'm very grateful that you take the time not only to watch but also to um, write so many kind, lovely, inspiring, useful things too so do keep those coming and I shall see you anon. Have a lovely Monday my lovelies, bye!